Welcome back. <laughs> uh, we are with uh, Dr. Cindy Jacobs. Oh, great conversation. And um, it's really nice to have you back in Kenya, 2016. And um, let me just confess this. Um, we were at Hilton Hotel. It was a pastor's conference. After that, we were really looking for you. We got an opportunity to interview you. I was with my boss. Uh, she's still my boss then, <laughs> Catherine Mwangi. And, and, and we had a good conversation. Then you, you asked me to, uh, my wife was there, so, so you told my wife, come, 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 come. <laughs> uh, you told her, record what I'm going to say. And you spoke really powerful words to me. And uh, when I had you around, I said, ah, I have to <laughs> meet her again. And a lot of those things came to, to, to pass. I am so happy that I, I listened and I pursued and I prayed and did what I needed to do. I am here today because of some of those words. And so thank you. I, ho I hope that today you will speak other words. Yes, as well. of course, <laughs> of course. So, so we are talking about offense and um, I, you say it better. Un Unoffendable. Unoffendable. Mm -hmm. That's our topic today. Mm -hmm. And so we've said... Um, you know, we, we get offensive from many things. Mm -hmm. Politics is, is one of those things that mm -hmm. really causes a lot mm -hmm. of offense to us. Mm -hmm. You get into an election, uh, your leader does not, you know, mm -hmm. uh, become the president, for example. Mm -hmm. You feel very offended. Mm -hmm. uh, part of it is legit. Part of it, you just say, no, 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 it can't go this direction again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do we guard ourselves against offense? Because it can really eat into us. Well... 
you know, as we were saying earlier, you kind of have to know yourself. Yeah. You have to know your own character. Um, and the thing is, offense is like, I, I, I say it like this, you know, you get offended, it's like a little mosquito going <laughs> across. Eh, that's nothing. Wow. You know, and then if we don't forgive, or if we don't realize what's happening inside of us, and Satan sends something bigger into wow. it's like this bomber, you know, going <laughs> like, I hate everybody, you know. And you have a short fuse. You have a very short fuse. Yeah. And, you know, as, as we have to live a life of forgiveness. Mm. I mean, instant forgiveness. Yeah. Not that we don't deal, you know, if somebody's abusing us, we don't allow them to abuse us, but we don't let that canker grow in our soul, right. you know? And so sometimes uh, you'll be so offended and it'll be piled up so much inside of you that someone will say the smallest thing to you and you just lash mm. out at them. Mm. You know, it's like, um, like a sponge that's so full of water that it just leaks out. You don't have to squeeze that yeah. sponge. It's just leaking out on everybody. Right. And, you know, certainly as a believer, you know, Jesus said so many things like, uh, I mean, he touched on the Romans. Mm. Oh my goodness, <laughs> everybody was offended with the Romans if you yeah. were a Jew right. and they gave you so much reason to be offended. Mm. But he said, you know, <clears throat> if they, uh, if they ask you to go one mile, go two. Mm. Well, what if you're offended when they first ask you? You know, one mile, they had to go legally in Romans time, but you're free when you go two. Yeah. And the Lord wants us to be free. Yeah. And I think that it's important, just like you might go to a doctor for a checkup or something like that, to spend time with God right. and say, okay, God, what's what's happening inside of me? Yeah. You know, and, and are, are things getting to me? Yeah. You know, are, uh, are whether it's a relationship, some things, you know, maybe someone has really, really hurt you, you know, and that happens in life. Right. But we need to take time till we reach a point <clears throat> that we forgive it. When we ask God immediately, oh, I'm so sorry, I've had unforgiveness, He forgives us. Yeah. But how do we know we're healed? You don't have any more pain from that. Yeah. You don't have pain when you think about them. And so you give up the right to be offended. Yeah. You give it yeah. up. You know, wow. and, and it's a spiritual exercise. It is. We don't always like it, but it's a <laughs> spiritual exercise. Yeah. I mean, we many times we talk about forgiving and forgetting. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to forgive and forget? Well, <clears throat> Yes, of course it is, All right. you know, but it's not, it takes time. Yeah. And it doesn't mean you haven't forgiven just because you're still remembering. Right. Some things are so horrible, atrocities and things like that. Yeah. But I've had many situations where someone will come back to me later, remember when I did that? I have no recall. Mm. Why? Because spiritually, that's just washed out of my spiritual system. Yeah. You know, I, and another thing is, I don't need, I don't need that offense. Sometimes we feel like we need to be heard so much. Yeah. If someone doesn't hear what we're saying or they don't <laughs> reply like we want, yeah. then we get offended. Right. And I mean, I do too. You know, yeah. I do that. You know, and that's why every day I have to work on this. Right. And every day I have to think, how did I do today? Yeah. And, and in fact, it's so funny. Sometimes in our office, you know, we've been talking about this at our office at Generals, and uh, I'll, I'll well, something will happen. I'll go, ah, yeah, but we're unoffendable. <laughs> Wait a Remember. minute. Remember. Remember, we're yeah. unoffendable. Everybody right. kind of calms down, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, we're okay. We're not going to do that. We're we're actively mm. pursuing peace right. with all men. Oh yeah. Actively doing yeah. it. I like that. Yeah. Actively. Active. Pursuing peace with mm -hmm, all men. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just mentioned if you have a sense of entitlement, then it becomes very hard mm -hmm. for you to forgive mm -hmm. and even to receive the forgiveness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, because mm -hmm. you believe, I mean, why did you do that to me? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm the one on the right, mm -hmm. you know, most of the time. 
Um, so, so, so what are some of the things that we need to do to, th that statement is very powerful, to give your right. Mm -hmm. They give the right of offense, right? Mm -hmm. So what are some of the things, what, what, some, what are some of the things we need to do to well, make sure that we, we get to that point? Yeah, I think first of all, you've got to know yourself. Yeah. Yeah actively and listen to what other people say right you know if other people are saying you're so defensive if they say that then you're probably offendable yeah you know and uh you know we have one justifier it's not us mm, most of the time yes yeah we have to remember he justifies for right. us you know and uh I remember one time I was in a situation ministry. Oh, I was being so misunderstood and I was so upset about it. And I was ready to justify myself. You know, <laughs> I had the whole writing, you know, I had everything. And, yeah. and uh, someone was calling me a false prophet and I was so mad. And the Holy Spirit said to me, well, listen, you have just one justifier in life. Do you want it to be you or me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, that's what are you going to uh, say? I know. You know? That's it. <laughs> that's Get over down. and out. Right. <laughs> that's it, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I remember another time. See, if, if we're so offendable, we, we're not loving either. Mm. You know, oh, yeah. and the Bible commands us to love our enemies. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to love people oh, who love you. I'm like, true. oh, another time. It's mainly ministry people with yeah. me. You know, another minister had been saying all this bad stuff. And, and then finally they got caught in their sin. You oh. know, I knew their sin and I confronted them privately on it. And so they were trying to assassinate me because they knew, well, you know, spiritually well, assassinate me because not kill my physical body. But, right. but you know, if nobody would believe me if I told them, That's you know, true, yeah. their sin, their sexual sin, nobody would believe me. Yeah. And so anyway, they were discovered and it hit the news. It went everywhere. And one day the Lord said to me, Cindy, you don't love that person, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't I, believe what came out of my heart. I was so offended at that yeah, person. I wanted yeah. to say, well, that's certainly right. You know? <laughs> and, and finally uh, the Lord said, then don't ever preach the message of the cross again. Oh, because wow. I love those who were crucifying me. And wow. I say, love your enemies. That's a tough one. And I want you to pray for them. Mm. And so, you know, I can say that I truly did reach that point where mm. that offense right i had a right i had oh, lots yeah. of reasons to be offended <laughs> <laughs> i had to forgive this person every time i took communion yeah. you know wow. you know but but i i wasn't right mm. with god when i was like that right. i wasn't obeying his word yeah. we have to obey all the bible not some of the bible <laughs> you know <laughs> not the easy part we have to e obey the hard everything. part <laughs> everything wow that's very powerful. We, we just want to bring this to, to a close. Um, you're here now. You've, you've just had a series of um, engagements in Kenya. Uh, how is it for you being here? Oh, I love it. I love it. Kenya is one of those nations God's given me as an assignment. Amazing. You know, so um, let me just prophesy into oh, the nation. Shall I do that? Go ahead. How about go that? Ahead. You oh, know, go ahead. This is what the Lord <laughs> says. I am in the process of repairing Kenya. Mm. And I am raising up those who are builders and restorers. And the Lord says, I'm going to actively engage all of my children from the smallest to the eldest to have a job to do to see this nation reach her glorious destiny, says oh. the Lord. And the Lord says, yes, there's many problems, but I want you to believe I want you to believe that Kenya can be healed. I want you to believe that Kenya can be peaceful. Even the warring factions, even in the midst of the political turmoil, I want you to believe because faith gives me the power. Well, you know, let me say this the right way. Faith gives authority to change things, oh. says the Lord. Amen. That's very hopeful mm -hmm. <laughs> for our nation at a time like this and thank you for for speaking that Welcome. to kenya we look forward to better days 
Yes. I had even in this nation, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Somebody has to have faith. Yeah. Somebody has to have faith and hope for the nation. That's you true. know, I believe there's a renaissance of hope. Wow. That's going to happen here. Amazing. That that in the midst of all the dark days, the troubles, mm. the economic turmoil, right. the pandemic, everything, mm. God wants to release a renaissance of hope. Amen. And amen. And thanks for being used to to speak that to us today. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Um, we pray that we will walk uh, without offense in our hearts. <laughs> Unoffendable. <laughs> Unoffendable, right? <laughs> every time, every time you you get offense, think about <laughs> Dr. Cindy, right? <laughs> and remember that you need to walk unoffendable Amen. all the time, every time. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. We wish you well in your, you know, um, travels as you come to Kenya. Uh, did you get a Kenyan name yet? I have a Maasai name. Oh, really? Yes. My husband and I drilled a well in the Mara. Ah, lovely. Yes. So I think mine, my husband keeps saying it. It's um, one you run to in times of trouble. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. I um, think it's Kisaru, maybe. Some, okay. I don't know it. You don't uh, know Masai. Off camera, we'll get to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Masai. <laughs> but great. I'm, I'm great you have that one. Uh, it's a good name as well. So God bless you. Thank you very much. Um, and may the Lord do you well as you keep serving Thank you. in his kingdom. Thank you. It's All right, a your final word? Just believe that God is going to take you from the place you're in to a glorious place because he created you and he loves you. Amen. You want to make a prayer for us? Yes, Father, I just pray for <coughs> all of those listening. Father, those who are hopeless, I pray that this will give hope. And Father, for those who think that they cannot pay their bills or cannot feed their children, Lord, I ask for a miracle right now. I thank you that you're going to help eliminate poverty. Father, I thank you you're going to heal marriages. There's someone out there, your marriage is in a lot of trouble. And the Lord just says, I am fighting for you. I'm listening to you. And I can do great things. Amen. Amen. Right there, uh, Dr. Cindy Jacobs. Um, I hope you will walk unoffendable, right? And you will have hope that uh, things will get better, um, better days ahead for this nation and even for you as a person, all right? So God bless you. We continue with the music. And uh, we'll be having uh, Wanjiku Nyasaka on the summit segment today.